My beloved love, we will, in addition to all of this, be channeling into divine feminine spirit guide or higher self messages. So, if you are feeling guided to explore the extended reading on Patreon, the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. I do channel these collective readings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with readings here and there between those main videos as well. But on Patreon, I channel three additional readings per week, also on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, it's a really beautiful, supportive, uplifting, energetic space. If you would like to explore Patreon as a resource along your journey, I do invite you to check it out by following the link under the video if you are feeling interested in it. So, I'm going to close this reading here with just one final Rumi oracle card. What is one final message for the person listening to this reading? This card comes out so frequently. This card actually came out in the most recent reading I did as well. This is the Cloak of Christ, and I feel the reason that this card has been coming out so frequently is because it's a powerful sign of divine protection. This card also asks you to surrender into that divine protection, to trust that there is this higher plan at play in your life at this time. And I will be reading a message from the guidebook here. Also, thank you. So the guidebook says, this cloak is a sacred container that places your body and soul within the loving energy of the Christ consciousness. There is nothing within you that would cause the divine to turn away from you, not even those parts of you that may fill you with fear, shame, guilt, or regret. You are so loved. Can you take refuge in this knowledge? Feel it not only as an idea, nourishing as that is, but as a visible reality. Allow yourself to feel the peace and receive healing. This unconditionally loving energy is not limited to the one bearing its name, but is shared by Rumi and many other holy ones. So, that feels like a beautiful place to close this reading. Again, I will now be heading over to Patreon for the extended reading. The link to that is under the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love. The reading was very interesting because a divine masculine came out at the beginning of the reading, but then it almost felt as though they were being put on the back burner, and a divine feminine came through very strongly, very much embodying the empress kind of energy. So, if you were connecting with that first reading, I am going to be channeling some more details about this interconnection between you as the divine feminine and the divine masculine that was coming out in that first reading. As I'm shuffling, allow me to introduce myself to those of you who are new here. Welcome. If you are new, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into that interconnection between a divine feminine and divine masculine that came out in that first reading from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.